Hi, my name's Perry McCarthy. I was a professional racing driver for about 23 years and I've driven and raced most things up to and including Formula One. But many of you might know me as the secret quiet one from Top Gear. Yep, I was the original Stig. I think sometimes for the younger drivers there's a bit of peer group pressure because if they've got cars where all their mates are bundling in, you know, A, they want to show that they're a good driver and mistakenly they think that you have to be fast and they're often you know, rough or violent with the car. That's not good. You see so many people out there who think they're quick and the car's all over the place and they're chucking it in and everybody's going, ah, and, it's just, you know, and everybody's face is being pulled back because of the G-force. That's not great driving. Making it smooth, making it precise, being absolutely on the money for where you need to be and knowing what's gonna happen. When cars hit trees, when cars hit other cars, when cars hit people, that is a combination of eventualities, things that have all gone wrong together. The trick is to try and think ahead. Advanced driving is advanced thought. Everybody thinks they can go fast, try stopping. That's the big thing. A lot of movement in a road car during a crash is the cause of major injury. We try to limit the movement in a race car. We have a six point harness. We are absolutely strapped into that deadly tight into a seat that's been specially made for us. We wear three layer fireproof overalls. The safety barriers on the road aren't there in case you can't quite take it flat in fifth to bounce off there, you know? The safety barriers on the track are there to stop you going into the trees and, and taking out a few spectators and stuff. We also have another advantage. If we make a mistake and crash, there are normally safety marshals with fire extinguishers around. They're on the scene to help you and get you out and we have instant access to ambulances. You can't exactly say that on the M25. You cannot believe what happens to a road car at 30 miles an hour, how smashed that is. At 60 miles an hour, which can be 60 on your own, interesting, or you 30 and somebody else is 30, it is a disaster zone. Just at 30 miles an hour, road cars are not race cars. Don't confuse the accidents you see on TV with us getting out a little bit shaken and stirred maybe, you hit at a fraction of the speed we hit at. The cars are not built for it. People get hurt. You can't slide a car on the road. There are curbs. If you slide out, the curb will stop. You'll collapse the wheel. The car will go over. You're out of in control. The car bounces back. You, you can't be a racing driver on the road, but you can be a good driver. I'm scared of crashing on the road. It hurts. Right guys, well you've listened to me talk and ramble on about driving and motor racing and everything else for quite a while. Um, I guess the idea of the Auto Trader Young Driver campaign is to find out who amongst you is one of the best. And the idea on that is to make sure you know what you're doing inside the car, that you're comfortable, that you're courteous, that you can feel the car, that you're confident, but not overconfident. And of course, that you acknowledge the highway code.